Hey, what's up, everyone? My name's Lionel, and I'm your host for LZ Productions, and you are watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we're covering a new series for the channel. Not a new series, but I'm going to give it a go. And we're going to cover The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, I have not watched the show since the inception. However, I started watching the show regularly, which I believe was season 10 um, when Garcelle arrived. Um, I did try to study the show a little bit. Of course, I've seen clips. I watch the reunions. I had not felt comfortable really reviewing um, Beverly Hills because I did, didn't have the history. And I don't like to come on here acting as if I know it all. You know, that's just not my thing. So I wanted to get comfortable enough. But I think this season, I'm going to give it a go. Give it a go. Last season was rough. <laughs> um, it took me a long time. I think it was like about three weeks ago that I actually started missing Beverly Hills. I needed to block it out because so much was going on. If you were on any social media circuit or just listening to all the bloggers, all the gossip, the rumors, the drama, the mess, I wanted to know parts of it, but I finally was able to cleanse myself and get back into the game. So yes, I'm new reviewing it and gonna see how far I can go. I'm not gonna be tweeting because there's too much on the timeline. I blocked it all out and I'll just watch it only a few people that I'm connected to that I will actually, that I can actually see some of their tweets that I will just maybe engage or just like some of their stuff, but no. <laughs> so let's get into it. This is season 13, I think, yeah, episode one. Now, you know, it was a mess and they took a little break, but I thought maybe they needed another break, but they came back, I don't want to say recharged, but in a place to mend things from where we remember how that reunion went. <laughs> Um, Dory, we start off with Dory and PK. Um, she invites someone over. Um, her her name is Eagle Woman, um, and she's the doctor of the soul. And basically, she wants to bring this woman in, Dorit does, to help out her friends because the group does need healing. So she is planning a retreat for all the ladies to come to. She does invite all the ladies and everyone did accept. Um, while all the ladies are heading up to this retreat, um, I don't even think I need to mention what I already saw on the timeline before I actually blocked it. So whatever. We find out Garcelle and Sutton are traveling up there and Sutton has bought a horse. Um, she got it from the Netherlands. Everyone has made it there. Erica has arrived and we see her saying, you know, so much has gone on. Um, my friend is gone. So the friend that she's talking about is Lisa Renner. Now I'm familiar with Lisa Renner the most from Days of Our Lives and Meryl's Place. Um, I love celebrity Lisa Renner. Reality star Renner, I've been done with her. I know it's mixed because some people love her and some people don't. They think that she was good for the show. She's had her moments. I cannot at all ever just take that away from her. I think, ugh, I think she went too far on a lot of things and she never knew how to reel it back in. So right after the reunion, Lisa resigned then she tried to take it back a few months and then they said no thank you uh, to my understanding andy has put her on a pause she needed a pause i don't want to see her no more if she's a different person cool but i don't think that she is i think that the celebrity status has gone to her head maybe she needs the time away just like a tamra from the oc but i don't want to see her for a long time i don't like how she manipulated people uh, for her mother passing. Shout out to Miss Lois. That was sick. That was crazy. And she does need to actually deal with whatever's going on because I know her mother is rolling in her grave. If you could say, well, you can't control how people react. However, I understand death and I understand trauma from death. I didn't get the choice to just react and act out the way that she did. She can blame it on that, but there was so much more going on with her. And then we know about the other girl, Sinella. Anyways, out with the old, in with the new. So when she goes up to the mountain or wherever they're at, Erica, it's noticed that Erica has lost a lot of weight. And Erica says that, um, I've lost it from hormones. And Dorit's like, I think those were, that's Ozempic. That's not hormones. Um, she said on Watch What Happens Live a couple of months ago, she was on and saying that menopause is the cause of her losing weight. I'm not a woman. So I just Googled and I search does that actually happen and they said and doctor said no 
And I think it was at the Mayo Clinic that I actually checked out. And then you actually gain weight once the hormones start changing um, into menopause. So, Erica, there's no point. Stop it. Um, so, anyways, the ladies are up there. And at this point, they're going to hash out different things and they're going to confront certain subjects and certain topics that are bothering them. Three tells Erica that you really hurt her um, in regards to her saying at BravoCon last year that who is the next uh, couple to get a divorce? And Erica said Dorit and, and PK. So from that, um, well, Erica first said, you know, I did it because I was trying to put on a show for the audience. And Dorit at that moment was like, I really would have thought that there would have been an apology first, but you're trying to explain or trying to justify what you did this for. Like, no, I wanted to explain as to why it even happened, blah, 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 blah. Um, so anyways, Dorit is giving her feelings. And then Erica says, you know, Dorit, is your marriage strong? Marriage strong? And she said, yeah. Well, if it's strong, I wouldn't even paid attention to it. Erica, you are missing the point. <laughs> you said that about a friend. A friend had to hear you say something damaging about her relationship and her marriage. And now you're going to try to not act like that that's not important or like nobody should feel a way towards you for saying that, that shouldn't have come from a friend. Um, so she ends up apologizing um, as far as anything uh, as being um, anything wrong with the, the, the marriage of PK and Dory. Of course, you guys heard the news basically in real time right now. Even though they were strong during the season, now they're really not or whatever. But a statement went out saying that they are still married and they're not separated which was the same thing that Colin Mauricio made the statement. I mean, it's like really verbatim, <laughs> like probably a few words edited, but that was the same statement that they made when it was let out that, I guess they were filing separation papers or whatever. Anyways. So now back to the show time. Um, Sutton said that, you know, I never had heard anything about their marriage except the one rumor when PK had drove drunk. And I remember them saying that last season or the season beforehand. And I think he was arrested at the time, or at least the police stopped him. What had happened was it wasn't just him drunk. He also had a woman in the car. But it's just a rumor. He may or may not have had a, a woman in the car. I don't know what's going on, PK, in this marriage. I don't know why you're traveling overseas all the time. But I guess we'll be de developed into that later on. So Erica ends up apologizing to Dorit. You know, I'm sorry in regards to that. Da -da 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 -da. So Kyle moves on. And now has something to say. She feels like she didn't get the support that she needed during the reunion time. Um, she said that she expected more from Dorit and Sutton. I don't know how you expect more, Kyle, because when Dorit was trying to have your back, you told her to stay out of it. Now, Erica was on attack mode towards Kathy, and that helped in ruining your relationship with your sister. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so Garcelle says, you know, I felt for you, but I was also confused uh, because you weren't even going after people that was uh, that were coming for you. So what were we supposed to do as far as standing up for you? Da, 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 da. And it was weird. You weren't going after Rena, Not for real. You weren't going after Erica. Not for real. You told them to stay out of it. Then they broke your boundary and still did what they did. So... Sutton kind of just rallies everyone around and just says, you know, uh, we're going to just try to be better communicators and better friends to one another. And they do a group hug. Now we're back in Beverly Hills. Uh, Sutton is at her establishment. And Jennifer Tilly, the actress, the legend, um, the queen of horror movies, Jennifer Tilly, has arrived. And that is her real friend. Um, Sutton announces that she did buy the horse. Um, she bought it in Netherlands and all that good stuff. Um Abby, who is her assistant, but also house manager, is there. Um, they give him a few compliments, but then he kind of takes over and listing all the stuff that he does for Sutton. And Sutton was like, Abby, you know, um, you're not on camera. Even though he is on camera, but this is not your place, not your time. Just do do your job <laughs> in better words. In better words. Um, so they just start talking about um, the success of the store. It's been up and running for four years now. And she talk, gives us a little history on marriage with her ex-husband. She said that she wants to show her success uh, to her husband. 
when they first met, both of them were even matched financially. He worked, she worked, they both did their parts. As soon as Sutton got pregnant, a job was out of the question and he had, she had to raise the children. And the most that she was now seen or respected as was a wife and a mother. So now that the tables have turned, you know, she does get uh, spousal support. However, she'll never get rid of it, but she doesn't want to use that as an anchor. Oh, she did also say during the marriage that she would get um, allowances or whatever. And of course, when that went away, that it, it was kind of strange. It was iffy, but at least she still wants to be independent as much as possible from him. Um, we move on to Erica. Erica is busy with her therapist. She says that she's been in for two years, which I've shocked. I mean, I know a therapist can't fix you in one day. It's a journey. But she's been mean for the last two years. So it's a little bit interesting. But she's off of the Lexapro. Remember, she was drinking and taking this medication. She didn't know what she was doing. She was mixing it together, da 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 um, As she's talking with her therapist, you know, um, I need to be a better friend and I need to need to be shown how to do that. And she said, and her therapist says, you know, you got to have empathy. How do you do that? Um, the therapist says, you know, imagine being in their shoes as them in that situation and you can actually have empathy. And then they get on her being positive. At this point, you need to take the high road. But I think that Erica is in her villain, villain era, which I'm okay with. <laughs> that's what that's what I would like, you know. Go on, Erica, because I appreciated it. Remember when they went up to was it Aspen or, or wherever they was in Colorado, and when she finally flipped, and when they were trying to make her Crystal and Sutton and Garcelle give back the earrings. You know, I'm not. I don't care about anyone. I just get, all I got to do is care about myself. Well, um, I, I actually like that because it was kind of this thing of Erica wasn't standing in her truth. We need to know: Are you a villain or not? All right. So now we're back at Dorit's home. P Dorit and PK are talking a little bit. Um, Kyle sees her. Oh, Kyle comes over. PK sees him, her, and she looks a lot more better. Kyle ends up saying that she has not been drinking any alcohol uh, for the past seven months. She said that it did, wasn't a good look at Garcelle's party. We get a flashback of how she was acting. She didn't like that. Um, Dorit and her are having a conversation, and she asked about Kathy. She said that you know her and kathy are not really in a good place um they were at the same event a sutton was uh, was um hosting and they said hi to each other but that was it um dorit talks about her ptsd and how she felt towards pk like something has changed within her because it kind of helps her to realize how much i guess pk really hasn't been there for her or as how she would want her him to be there. So it's like there's not a connection there that she doesn't feel that they are connected as they should be. Um, but those are things that they were both encouraging each other because um, Kyle was also feeling that way with Mauricio. Uh, but they were encouraging each other and saying, you know, you guys, couples go through this and you guys will make it through. Both of them will make it through, both couples. All right, so we move on to Garcelle. She's hanging out with her sons. Um, and they have a good conversation in regards to their the parent and child relationship that they do have. Um, they're wishing to spend more time with mom. Um, and Garcelle, that you said, that's fine, but it's all up to your, and if your dad is okay with that, then we can do that. Now, she said it in a way that I think was like, you know, I want you here and not to say, oh, that's up to your dad. You know, I think to keep the peace and also say that I do want you around me. Da, 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 da but it, it does depend upon your father. So they're 15 now and they're ready to drive. Um, I guess Garcelle has been filming in, in another place. I thought she said LA for some reason, but anyways, she's been away. Um, the son that has the dark hair ended up saying, you know, you've been gone for like a year. Garcelle, no, it's been only been three weeks. What are you talking about? Um, the one with the dark hair ended up saying that while growing up that he wished that Garcelle was more of a parent um, and had been around more. Garcelle was telling him that I wish you would allow me to be a parent to you. In those times where you're sick, you won't allow me to take care of you, things of that nature. And he said, you know, that's fair. And that's what he said concerning the parenting. And he feels like that. It, the other um, twin with the blondish hair was like, really? 
And I'm sorry, I think his feelings and emotions are valid. And you can grow up in the same house and have a different experience from each of your siblings. Let's never disqualify it. There may have been more that he wanted that he may not have expressed and Garcelle didn't even understand that he needed. I think she even had the same type of uh, complaint when it came to her other son, the oldest son. So it's not abnormal. I know some of y'all online a couple weeks ago were like, oh, you're just feeling entitled. What else do you need? Why just somebody who has riches doesn't think that they still have problems or have issues or shouldn't want their parents around them the way that they want? Who cares if you got a Nintendo? I'm sure that that's not a, uh, an up-to-date game, but I haven't played games since I was a child. So, But I think his feelings are valid. And, a, and it's not an attack against Garcelle. She wanted an honest and open conversation, and I think it's wonderful. I wish I could have had these type of conversations with my parents to say how I really feel and how they even want to feel. But our our relationship in our home did not talk. The only time is when we're mad at each other yelling. And I could go into other things that go on in the home, but we didn't communicate at all. All right, so we'll move on to Kyle and Mauricio. Mauricio's on the phone and he's trying to schedule this golf thing. And Kyle's ready for him to get off the phone so they can just talk, da 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 Mauricio finally gets off the phone and they start talking. Mauricio's been working nonstop, Kyle's been working, so they, it, it's kind of odd that right now that they got a schedule meeting in, in order to fi figure out what their schedules are. Uh, Mauricio has to fly down to, was it Puerto Rico? It's during Portia, their youngest, um, a spring break or, or winter break or something of that nature. Do you guys want to come down? Um, and I think she said she wasn't available to do that for whatever reason, I forgot what it was. So they started having this little argument about different things. Um, Kyle, uh, Kyle has five tattoos and Mauricio says, I only know of three. He's like, well, I guess if, well, she said, you know, years ago, she, he would have paid attention to that and known that I, um, that um, I had this. He noticed the freckles on my body. Da, 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 da. Mauricio actually, are you thinking about getting any more? And she said, I might. And Mauricio's like, no, 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 no more. And she's like, well, I may want to. That's my body. She said that she's noticed a change in her since Kathy um, went because she did tell us last year, you know, she always clams up whenever Kathy may even call her around her sister. There's such a dominance that Kathy has over her as being an older sister. So that there's a difference. Um, you can see that there's a little struggle within their relationship, Kyle and Mauricio. But that's all I do have. And um, I'm, it was a good start. I'm content with what they show. And we'll see where it goes from here. Crystal, neither was the new woman, was uh, on this episode. So I have my thoughts about Crystal, and maybe I'll just say it when she actually shows up for a scene. But I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Please give me your thoughts. Like this video. Share it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Also, give me your comments on, on my commentary and what you thought of the show or, or any of the scenes. Until the next one, peace.